are watching The Reseller Mom Show, where everything we do is to try to get more done, make more money, and stay sane while raising kids and reselling online. Today is Monday. No, I'm lying. Today is Sunday, and I am recording a What Sold Fast on Poshmark and eBay video for you. This is going to cover March 10th through March 16th, so that's a Sunday through a Saturday. Had some great sales. Can't wait to give you all the stats at the end. I've actually broken down some extra uh, the, the extra stats this week for you. Now that I'm really getting into kind of figuring out the numbers since I'm now starting to track how many days it takes for items to sell. I'm really getting a kick out of this and loving it so far and I'm so excited to share what I have for you today. So we've got 18 sales on both Poshmark and eBay combined that sold in less than two weeks. So I'll show you all of those. Then, and I'm gonna go from 14 days all the way up to less than a day. I have two sales that sold in less than a day, which is really exciting. And then I have another sale that was over $50 that took a little longer than two weeks to sell, but I thought I would share that with you since it's over $50. Um, and for me, you know, that doesn't happen all the time. That's kind of one of those, you know, nice home runs. And so I'll share that with you and then all of the numbers at the end. And hopefully this will be helpful to you when you're outsourcing. So let's get started. I'm going to get rid of this and this and start here. So this is just, um, you know, kind of like a sheer open front kimono that I picked up at the bins. Live for Truth. I did not do a ton of research on the brand. I think I had it listed for 15 and she made me an offer for eight and I sold it. She had asked me a number of questions. I had pulled it out to take additional measurements for her. And so I thought I already have it out. I might as well just sell it without having to put it back and maybe or maybe not wait for another buyer. It was a very lightweight item um, since it was, you know, nice and sheer. So I sold it for eight on Poshmark and that took 14 days to sell. Next up, I have an Adidas track jacket, uh, 99 cent, 99 percent sure I bought this at the bins. Pretty much everything lately has been coming from the bins with a few exceptions. Um, took an offer for $18 on this, again, just in the effort of moving things quickly, and this took 13 days to sell. I have on eBay a Karl Lagerfeld blazer. This came in a thread up box, um, which I was very excited when that did come. So let's see what size was this, just to say. I don't know why it wasn't in my title, that's no good. Um, no size tag. Okay, so that's why. Um, but so I think this came in the, the, I don't remember, but it came in a thread up box. I ordered several. Um, and so I sold it with free shipping on an offer for $20. And that sold in 13 days as well. Here we are. Theory pants, cropped capri pants. Um, I took this on an offer for $16. Lower than I wanted to, but this was before I got the steamer. I still haven't gotten going with the steamer yet. They were somewhat <laughs> wrinkled and I really didn't want to deal with it. So I just took the pictures and put them up and, you know, I was like, you know, at this point I'm just going to take the offer for $16. Um, and those took 11 days to sell on eBay. This is a week, just on a side note, this is a week of almost take everything and anything because I want to keep through moving through my inventory. I want to keep leveling up with each sourcing trip that I do. And so the more cash flow I have coming in from selling off things that I may not have any more activity on in the future, um, you know, I'm just willing to kind of be a little bit more lenient with some of them. And also I knew I had a trip at the end of the week. I wasn't sure what kind of sales I was going to have. So I wanted to make sure I locked in some sales. So some of these are a little bit less than I would normally like to take. Okay, moving on. Um, these were new with tags, Novara um, shorts. And I'm trying to think this came in I think this was a thread up box as well and I think this was my last thread up box where I was not exactly happy with all of the items that came in it and there were only a handful that I definitely listed right out of the box and this was one of them because these are cycling shorts um, and they're women's cycling shorts and they were new with tags though they did have some they were new with defects because they did have a couple of flaws over here on the leg that I noted um, so that was um, $19.20 and those sold in 10 days on eBay. Okay, 
this was great. This I think I showed in my Poshmark, or sorry, my Bins haul, like one of the first or maybe the only haul that I did. And it's um, an Anna costume and an El Elsa costume. Both of them were Disney Parks authentic and they um, were the same size. So I put those both up and I think I had it up for $39 and I took an offer of $30 for both of them together. So I thought that was very good because they're pretty lightweight and um, those took nine days to sell on Poshmark again for an offer of $30. What happened here? It didn't go all the way through. Hold on. All right, I'm going to go over here. Oh, here it is. Okay, so these Athleta shorts, hmm, I think I got those at the bins. Um, and I took an offer on these for $15. Again, trying to move things quickly. Athleta is hard because I feel like some things will go pretty quickly and for a decent amount. And then I have a lot of other things that sat and I didn't want these to be one of the things that sat. I wanted to keep moving through it. So... Um, I took an offer of $15 for those with free shipping. All of my eBay is free shipping right now. Um, and those sold in nine days. Okay, this is on Poshmark. This definitely was from the bins. Brand new with tags, Laura Ashley nightgown. Um, the retail value was $38. I think I had it up for like $19 and I took an offer of 12. Again, it was a super lightweight item and you're not sure on some of these items how much activity you're going to get so I'd rather do a quick flip for something than have it sit and get nothing um, or at least get nothing over a long period of time that took six days to sell for an offer of $12 this is just an Ava and Viv kind of sleeveless baby doll blouse it was really pretty um, 3x size and I can't remember if this was thread up or if this was the bins I'm so sorry it's just they all kind of run together now <laughs> But I took an offer on it for $12, and that took six days to sell. I always thought Ava and Viv was a really good, you know, brand to get as far as plus size goes, and that it seemed to have, you know, a good amount of quick turnaround for me. And then I went to a Style Encore, and I saw how inexpensively they were selling it, like only a few dollars, and I was kind of surprised. So I'm like, well, I can't expect them to be getting such a high price for it if, you know, you can go to another secondhand place and get it for pennies on the dollar. So I kind of lowered my expectations of what I was going to get for Ava and Viv. Um, this is a new with tags, Joseph A. Sheer blouse. And this I took an offer for $17. And that sold in five days on eBay. Next is a White House Black Market, just kind of like a cami tank top for work, career style. So for those, I'm happy to turn them quickly and I'm not expecting to get a lot of money um, for them. So I got $10, a best offer with free shipping, and that took four days to sell. Sorry, I'm looking at my cell phone and so I'm trying to match up the lines. Um, okay, a profile by Gotex Women's Swim Dress. This is a beautiful um, swim dress, really pretty, nice and flowy. It would look really great on someone. Um, I put it on Amy just so that way I could kind of show it a little bit better than just having it on the hanger, and hopefully that's what did the trick. That sold for $18, best offer on eBay, and it only took four days to sell. That is what I like to see. This is just a random no-name quilted black duffel bag. It had a couple of flaws, like a couple of white scuff marks on it, um, which I noted in the listing. But other than that, it sold, where are you, in three days for a best offer of $13, which I went back and forth with her on this one. Um, but I think that that's fair. And it is lightweight. It'll be super easy to ship first class for not a lot of money. And... Um, that was like a super quick flip that I found at the bin, so I was very happy to do that. Okay, this is a Disney little polka dot vintage looking tank top. Um, sold for best offer of $13. Again, that'll be from the bins, nice and lightweight to ship. And that has free shipping and that sold in one day. So when the ones come in like the same day or one day to sell, even if it's a little bit lower, I just get excited that I have 
you know, activity on it quickly that I kind of want to do the one or two day flip. Um, because again, it's just cash flow coming in instead of sitting on it to maybe get more or maybe not. Um, Wrangler, um, women's cotton, button down shirt. This is kind of like, you know, the snap. Actually, I don't know why it says button down because it should say, yeah, here, snap. Um, and a 2XL and just like a really pretty kind of flamboyant colors. And that sold in one day. And um, that sold for full price at $19.99 on eBay. This is just an Exertion sports bra. I found it at the bins. And, you know, I've sold a few Exertion things. I actually have a few Exertion things myself. But it was a plus size and it was really pretty. So I thought it would do well. And I think I had it up for $19. But I took a best offer for $13 on Poshmark. That's fine with me. That sold in one day as well. On Poshmark and then this and the next are my same day flips this is an etc woven blazer um, just really pretty nice and textured and if someone is going for that look it's gonna be perfect for them and it just sold for full price but it was on sale so I think I had it up at 39 and it was on sale for 3120 and it took less than a day to sell um, it's a size 12 and that was on eBay and I have one more sale that sold same day so this is the last sale from the selling less than two weeks and this is awesome so I was at the bins and I was going through my stuff from the bins that they had just rolled out and that I had picked really furiously <laughs> and um, there was this other woman there and she was going through her pile and she threw something back and my eye just happened to catch the Lululemon little logo and I snatched it and then two seconds later she threw another item and I looked and it was also Lululemon. So it was literally the same defined jacket. I have one in navy blue and one in, oh it's still in my closet and I forget which blue it is. Some kind of blue that they call it, like a royal blue. And um, so they're brand new on the website. It's like, well no I'm sorry, they're not brand new but they're still on the website. I always have trouble finding Lululemon things and this was on the website, so it's a current piece, and they're retailing for 118. I had it up for 89, but because I got the offer on it on the same day, I definitely could have waited, but I said no, cash flow. And so I took the $50 offer, which I still think is reasonable. Um, so I was really happy to sell that in less than a day. And that's the last um, of the sales that sold in less than two weeks. So again, it was 18 sales that sold this week that had sold after being listed for less than two weeks. The other item that I wanted to show you is an item um, that's a brand new with tags, Kate Spade bikini, bikini swimsuit, and I sold that for $53, and that was a sale over 50, so I thought it was notable enough just because it was over $50. It retails for 98, so I, I think I had it up for maybe 69 or 79, and um, I had a couple of likes on it and I thought, let me go ahead and send some offers, which honestly I haven't had the time to do lately. So I haven't really been sending out many offers. And when I sent this one, the next day she took it and bought it. And so it sold for $53 with, um, I think it was just the discounted shipping on Poshmark. So I thought that was really great and worth mentioning. Um, it was really pretty. So, those are all the sales that I wanted to show and now we can recap some numbers. So as I mentioned, um, 18 sales that sold in less than two weeks. So I thought, so that's one more than last week. So now I can start getting some historical data going, which I'm excited about. So 18 sales sold in less than two weeks. Um, then 18 additional sales sold between two weeks and one month. So I thought I would just do some extra numbers. So that means technically 36 items sold in a month or less, 18 sold in two weeks or less. Moving on, 14 sales sold between being listed for one and two months, which isn't too bad. And then 46 of the sales that I had this week um, took more than two months. So that's where I have to do some work. That's where the money sits 
and that's the area that has the most opportunity. So that's where I'm going to start really focusing in on how can I increase these numbers up here and lower these numbers down here. Then just the overall stats for the week of March 10th through the 16th, I sold 63 items on Poshmark, and that's items, not sales, so actual items. I had some bundles. That was a total of $953 in sales, with an average sale price of $15, which is not great, but it's not bad, so I'm cool with that. Then 48 items sold on eBay for a total of $718 in sales, which oddly enough is also $15 average sale price, oddly enough. And so that brings my grand total to 111 items sold this week and $1,671 in sales. I'm really happy with this. Um, it obviously could always be better, but I feel like this is a good, solid week. Um, and now that I have more information and I'm kind of condensing down my inventory, I'm still working through clearancing out items in different ways, which I'll go over in the future. I am just going to continue to hone in on getting items to sell for more money, sourcing the right items so that they can do that, and getting items to sell faster, condensing down my inventory so that I can wrap my arms around my inventory and really manage the listings to get that better sell-through rate. So. A lot of strategy going on, a lot of thinking, a lot of trial and error, but I know it's going to be worth it because once I kind of find what works for me, I can just rinse and repeat that strategy and what works for me may not work for someone else and that's fine um, and I'm happy to hear you know, what everyone else's strategies are to continue to increase their sell through, increase their average sale price, would love all of that information that you would like to share for me and for the other moms that happen to watch. So feel free to put any tips and tricks as always in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching. I appreciate it and have a great week and lots and lots of sales mamas. Take care.